Well, I was unprepared when the draft started. And I was eating a Reese's Reese's peanut butter cup thin. And I was talking about how it's the perfect amount of Reese's peanut butter cup. And here we are in another vintage cube draft. We got Palantir, which I love, Jace, Grim Monolith, Teferi. There's a lot of cards that I would not mind coming back here, but I feel like starting with Grim Monolith is probably where I want to be. The Dark Chocolate Reese's Thins are always in my freezer. Ooh, Dark Chocolate Reese's Thins sounds incredible. Because actually, I feel like the, the peanut butter for Reese's is sweet enough. Whereas like the dark chocolate probably complements that quite a bit. That sounds fantastic. I didn't even know that was a thing. Now I'm going to have to look into it. I'm going to have to do some research. Which would probably roughly translate to going on Amazon after this and ordering a 72 pack and having it delivered overnight. Something like that. Chandra Torch of Defiance. I'm going to use this back scratcher to get like an itch that's that's really down there. You're going to, oh, there you go. I'm using it for its intended purpose. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, got it. Okay. Perfect. Reese Arch. I don't. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have laughed at that because I don't even know what you're saying, but you're just so ridiculous. That, you know, sometimes it's just funny. I don't even know what to pick here. Counterspell, maybe. Forcible, maybe. Your face scratching and extend. Yes. Yeah, it's wild. We live in wild times. I'm just taking counterspell here. Research. Research. Okay, that's very good. Fuck, I feel bad for underestimating you. That was wonderful. Research. I think it was the pronunciation of urch. I think it was hard to pronounce Urch by itself. I like Manalik and it goes well with Counterspell, but Ugin goes well with Grim Monolith. However, I think I'm going to take Manalik. We took two Counterspells. We can keep on taking Counterspells. Expressive Iteration is decent. I also like a World Spine Worm because maybe we get Flash. Or we can take Ulamog and maybe try to cast it and be like the aggressive... The, not the aggressive, the rampy artifact deck. <sighs> Why did Urza go to the bathroom? He had to dig a mana leak. <laughs> that's, that's terrible. You're all terrible. We can also take swords and hope that Teferi tables. I'm going to take swords, actually. I like that a lot. There was a Teferi in that first pack. There was also a Jace and a Palantir. And if any of those three come back, I would be... Immensely grateful to the magic gods. I like a Lauren of the third path here. That's pretty good. Also a triplicate Titan. The other, I think there's two specifically, two cards that are specifically good with flash and not really that great with other things. Uh, it's triplicate Titan and, and world spine worm. And we just saw both of them. We could also take wall of omens. I think Lauren is better than Wall of Omens, though. How do you feel about the STP art? It doesn't feel right to me. I don't mind it at all. This is actually the one I use um, in my legacy and pre-modern play stuff. And I think the reason is because I like this art better than the Ice Age art, and it's the only other black, bordered, retro-framed Swords to Plowshares. Like until I get, until me and Katie get our big kid jobs next year and we're making the big kid money, um, I'll have to wait to pick up, pick up some beta copies. I like Talisman of Conviction here, especially if we end up splashing red. Guardian Scale Lord was a beater though, but I don't know how many creatures we're going to have. It's not only in permanent. Yeah, we're just taking this guy again. I was impressed with this with this gentleman. Oh, now we can take a suspicious stowaway. Kerwitz smelling seeker with S E A K E R like the ocean. Come sail away with me. I said, come sail away. 
Stuart, what's your what's your what's your issue with this specific art? Okay, not the ocean, the sea. But it's weird if I said spelling it S E A K. I like the sea, like because it's you're just repeating. See, it just felt redundant. It felt awkward linguistically. Okay, I don't need your sass. Okay, it's just you're supposed to be sleeping. You could play the mischief swords and flashers. I actually really liked that secret layer. I just wish it wasn't foil. Oh man. <sighs> Do we take this and hope for dream halls? Cause there's nothing else good in here. We're going to, we're going to try it. We're going to try being greedy AF. That art seems to be promoting the swords less than the plowshares. That's an interesting point. Yeah. Yeah, I could see it. Hold on. Let me look at it up close. Oh my God. Palantir came back. So did council's judgment. Wow. Um, wow. These are all, wow. This is, we're taking Palantir here for sure. It provides me cards. Do you understand? Wow. This, oh my God, this sword printing has been printed one. Holy shit. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve times. I'm going to take Thief in case we end up splashing for black. Wow, I did not think it was that prevalent. That's insane. We'll take, we'll take Mind Slaver, sure. Wow, that is a lot of printings. I actually thought it was relatively new. <laughs> I thought the first printing was in the Brothers War Commander set, uh, where you can find the retro frame. But it was actually printed in Crimson Vow Commander first. Then Neon Dynasty Commander. Then New Capenna Commander. Then Game Night Free For All. Then the Brothers War Commander with the Retro Frame. Then Starter Commander decks. Uh, I'll take Chariot. Take Turnabout. I don't think we're going to be playing a Turnabout. Anyway, there's like six more printings after that. It doesn't matter. But the point is, I was just trying to open it to look at the art. I love Scryfall because you can get these big images. See on the right side, on the left side, oh, we got Soul. Oh, we got Soul Herder. That was actually pretty decent. Blinking Scale Lord or Lauren or Mystic Confluence. We can finally Mystic Confluence. Oh, thank goodness. Feels good to be back, you know. I hope Urza or Rogrin Triumph come back. I'll even take a Fairy Mastermind if they want to give it to me. But yeah, we're taking Mystic Confluence here. Yeah, so on the right is the plowshares, and on the left is the swords. And they're obviously going from the left to the right here. But the character in the center is more swords than plowshares for sure. Like, I would expect to see some sort of transformation or transition in the middle, but it just seems like he's battling, you know? Did you say Fufora? Instead of, wait, what was I, well, instead of what? I like March. I like chart. I think it might be March. Getting rid of Articar or Actually, this doesn't get rid of Planeswalkers, which is interesting. Also, I kind of like Elspeth with Guardian Scale Lord. Being able to pump your own Guardian Scale Lord to get back bigger things. Everyone loves Frantic Search. I'm just not a huge fan of the, the two for three nature of it. Elspeth is probably going to come back. I want to take March here. I think March is strong. Um, Volcanic Island is interesting. Skyclave Apparition. Okay, never mind. Especially if with, with Guardian Scale, we're definitely taking Skyclave. That guy's a beast. But actually, it's a core spirit, not a beast. Okay. Great. March is one of the best names for a magic card. March in general or March of Otherworldly Light? Do you want the card to just be called March? 
Skyclave and Soul Herder. Skyclave and Guardian Scale Lord are good too. This is going to be the reanimate deck with three counter spells in it. So hopefully we can actually cast our counter spells. And by that I mean we're probably tapping out a bit. March of Otherworldly Light. This is your. This is your. Uh, this also looks like art you really like as well. Oh, is this like a frog guy over here? Oh my God! Stoneforge, Urza Saga, Palace Jailer, Chrome Host. This pack is insane. We're definitely getting something back from this pack for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen cards. What? Twelve cards. I'll count correctly. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards that we'd like. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Wow. I don't think it's Saga. I don't think it's Saga when we have no artifacts that we can get with it. I think it's actually Palace Jailer, especially with Soul Herder and Guardian Scale Lord. That's. That was really wow. That was a pack. Holy crap. I'm definitely gonna if we if we come across a Cauldra. Cauldra complete before that pack comes back. I might just take it to to see if we can complete. Yeah, we're gonna take Krakus here. Krakus is just ridiculous as well. Um, I would hope Mother Miscalc comes back. That would be sweet. Krakus is just a spell that literally invalidates certain strategies. That's that counts as a land drop. Elspeth Conqueror's Death I really like. Um, it might be a little slow. I think it's I think it's better than Gideon here. Solemn Simulacrum also pretty good with Soul Herder. Yeah, beta well, beta swords is 800 bucks on site, so you can usually get them for like five to six. Like, I watch a lot of eBay auctions for old beta stuff to see if I can like sneak in there and get it for cheap. I haven't gotten anything since I was laid off, but um, I don't love Factor Fiction here. I'd rather take Gideon than Factor Fiction. I'd rather like be putting something on the board. But then again, I like this a lot too. I think it just might be Gideon. No, I like Elspeth. I mean, I didn't want to take it because I have a bunch of fives already, but I think I like this ability to just deal with almost anything. Let's take a Sun Titan. We have a pretty good Sun Titan base here. That can be a top end. Sure, why not? Wow, that is a late Crater Hoof. Oh, uh, I do like a Cathar Commando. I do like a Smuggler's Copter as well. I did like Solemn, especially for the blink ability. Solemn might come back. Solemn's not a super contested card. My only problem with Smuggler's Copter is we have Stowaway, which is doing something similar, and like we don't have a ton of creatures that are coming down to to crew it right now. Oh, Urza came back. Okay. Uh, I will take an Urza. And we'll see if we can get the other Urza. <laughs> Whatever that means. I'll take Blightsteel. Whatever. Pack's not very exciting. I would love some uh, blue blue white lands. That would be great. In addition to some... I guess I'll just take a Leshnorn. I'm really wondering what that pack's going to bring. It's going to have four cards left in it. We have 26 picks, so I'm pretty sure it's the next pack. All right. There was a lot of good stuff in it. Gideon and Steel Seraph. Not the best options we were hoping for. But I will take a Steel Seraph as a three drop. And Student came back, but it's not, not excited about it. Oh, Factor Fiction. See? Yeah, you go. Factor Fiction came back. I mean, I'll definitely play it. Also, the five drops work a little better with Grim Monolith. You can go turn two Grim, turn three, five, or six drop. Upheaval. I don't think we're an upheaval deck. Oh, we are a we are a Teferi deck. And by that I mean we have Sun Titan, Guardian Scale Lord, and blue and white cards in our deck. So Oh. 
artifacts, instants, and sorceries, right? So that's actually pretty good. Making our Mystic Confluence cost one less is not bad. Uh, I think we're just taking Remand here. I've heard Urza was a dick, yeah. I think Urza, I think that was the impression I had as well. <laughs> I think it's Remand here. Remand is just so good. So I hope Wandering Emperor comes back, but I'm not going to hold my breath for that guy. I will take a Treachery, though. Inspired Ultimatum. It's no Treachery. Oh, also, if you Blink Steel Seraph with Soul Herder, it just comes back as a as a 5-4 flyer. So that's pretty cool. What are good Blink Tarts? Lauren, Skyclave, uh, Steel Seraph, Palace Jailer, Sun Titan. Even Guardian Scalar is good to Blink, because then you get to put the counter on something else. Our whole, most of our creatures are actually pretty solid Blink targets. Hmm. Fascinating. Still no blue-white lands, unfortunately. Maybe just Containment Priest for the sideboard? We don't have a ton of enchantments that we really care about. Yeah, I guess we'll just take a Containment Priest. Not excited. Hard Evidence is fine. Doesn't really do anything, though. I'd rather have the sideboard card that actually does something. I really don't want to have a deck full of 16 planes and islands. Sea Chrome. I'll take a Sea Chrome Coast at this point. Because I don't think we actually passed that many blue white sources. This is 22 cards. I'd be happy with this 22. Cut the blue and play mono white. Okay. <laughs> Why do you think we have that many white cards? Yeah, so we'd take out these 10 and we'd have 12 cards. And then we can play Aleshnorn, Containment Priest, and Student. So that's 13. That's true. There aren't many cards that give you crab. Singular. Oh, I got excited because I saw a blue land, but it was really just a shit land. I mean, it's a shit land for us. It's a great land. It's phenomenal, but, you know, it ain't what we're looking for. I don't think it's a Danto Vanguard here. If we were attacking, I would take a Vanguard, but I don't think we're actually that aggressive. I I'm, I'm tempted to take... I think we're just taking Mana Confluence for the sake of having it. Even though I really like Touch the Spirit Realm. God, I'm taking a mana confluence because I just have no fixing whatsoever, like a like a pleb. Shark Typhoon. Come on, I think this is the last pack. Right, right now. I need 23 plus 14 is 37. We have one more pack. Please give me a land. I'm begging. I'm playing mana confluence in my two-color deck. Do we have any life gain? Anything that can offset the, the damage we might take? Eh, Steel Seraph, I guess. Oh, boy. All right, last pack. And nothing. <laughs> so we didn't see Dream Halls for that Cruel Ultimatum that we took. I guess it's just days. Even though I'm moving around to steal Seraph, let's take a days. Sure. Well, that's a bummer. I just saw this meme right now. It's called. I guess I don't have to tell you what it's called. I can just show you. <laughs> this is what it's called. Um, Lotus Petal is a thing, I guess. 
this is a great this would be a great torrential gear hulk deck with mystic confluence factor fiction remand mana leak counter spell consider swords uh unfortunately we can't take the magma opus because we don't have torrential gear hulk and or any red sources oh wandering emperor came back that's fantastic wow that's so good that's definitely going to find a place being a millennial captured in one picture house sold in 1999 for $162,081 $81 a square foot now it's listed in 2023 for $1.4 million, a 764% increase. Cool. Real cool. We can play double Titans. Also inspired ultimatum. We would have had both ultimatums for our uh, thing. Fiery Islet. I guess we'll take Crab. And yeah, Karma Guide. So this is 25. We need to cut two things, huh? Yeah, I'll take her time. All right. Well, our mana base is terrible. <laughs> Got mana confluence. Oh, is it just eight, eight? I guess we'll take crab. We probably don't need days. It's probably garbage. And we need one more cut. Urza's is not great without the other half. So I think that's that's the deck right there, you know? I like Caracas. Seven, eight. That's weird because that makes it nine, seven. Is that correct? Sort by color. Eh, I think it's still eight, eight. Eight. Eight, because we still have a lot of two mana counter spells that we want to hit. We have a consider on turn one that we want. I am not, in fact, playing pedal. Let's just play this and we'll see how it goes. If this deck, this deck seems decent except for the mana. We have a good amount of counter spells to deal with things. We have removal and swords, uh, Elspeth conquers death, Lauren, Palace Jailer, Skyclave, Wandering Ember. We have a lot of. March of the other world of otherworldly light. We have a lot of answers to things. So I feel like if anything happens, it's going to be because of this atrocious mana base that two color decks playing mana confluence is just, just comical. Well, we do have a white source. <laughs> oh, this hand is pretty rough. It just doesn't do anything early, but who knows? Uh, I think we'll keep this hand. I don't think it's great, but I also don't think it's the worst. We, we also have a ton of two drops we could hit. Oh, this is my favorite. Wow, though, look at that. Beautiful. I think we keep Caracas a secret. Like, the only reason to play it is because if I want to play this guy. Oh, interesting. Fascinating. Okay. So they're not... Oh, that's that's definitely the play, for sure. Put a card on the tip of the top. It's going to be Sun Titan. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, treachery, huh? Um, Put that on the bottom. Put that on top. See if they want to give us a treachery. Didn't think they would. Had a feeling it would go to the graveyard. We are on match one, game one. Cathar Commando. Oh, this guy flips if we don't play anything. I guess we just play a Cathar Commando here. Keep up Remand. I don't want that guy to flip. Uh, 
Oh yeah, put on top. Put on top. Okay, they just took they just took eight. Now they're at seven. <laughs> A bold strategy. Yeah, this is a this is a solid block, I think. Okay, lots of lands, lots of lands. Um I guess we'll just play Solar Herder here. That doesn't really do much, but that's okay. They're already at seven. We're doing a lot of damage here. Choose an opponent. The only one I got. Uh, Grimothy, we can put on the bottom. We'll put Skyclave on the top. They, now they're like, okay, you can have it. 13 damage. Is You're leaving your opponent hanging in the chat, man. I said, oh, I said YouTube. Puzzle my favorite card in the cube iteration. Yeah, you can have this Doretti. Doretti the spaghetti. Because we can Skyclave it, then blink the Skyclaver. That doesn't do much, though. That's not what you want to do, because then you just give... Oh, dear Jesus. <laughs> Were they going to reanimate? That's... <laughs> uh... I said, you sure you don't want to reanimate? Oh, uh, good times. Oh, I like a swords here. Let's get rid of their spaghetti. Snuff out going to three. Wow. Uh, cast. That actually, oh, wow, can we exile anything else? Because that would be really good. Because now they go to one. Oh, man. That was... That was a turn right there, my dudes. Stuart, have a good night, buddy. I appreciate you. Uh, bottom on both of these guys. Oof. Well, that should give us some gasolina. Massacre worm. So we actually watch this. We're going to go, we're going to do one of these jobbies. And that makes this guy a 3-3 so that it survives the massacre worm. Beautiful. How's it going to be? Sword Sky Clave in response. Sure, we could have done that. Um, interesting. Hmm, that was actually kind of tough. I do like having a counter spell, but I don't love having all the lands. I think we do choose pile one.
Oh, get in there for three, I guess. Yeah, I don't want to tap uh, Palantir down. Or not Palantir. Uh, yeah, I'll just take Consider. That's actually great. We can Consider now. Uh, I don't want to tap Caracas down in case they do something like Gristlebrand. I'd rather have... Mountain, Mountain, Aleshnorn. That's good. Reanimate. What? <laughs> well. Bold strategy, Cotton. <laughs> Love it. Went out on their own terms. I respect it. Do we have anything for graveyards? Oh, Containment Priest for sure. See, this is why we took this guy. Reasonable. Probably take out Cathar Commando in its place. Or Lauren. No, I like Lauren. Lauren's just better Cathar Commando, I think. We have a lot of good answers to reanimated creatures from March to Elspeth Conqueror's Death to Skyclave to Wandering Emperor to Teferi to Palace Jailer to Swords. Like, we have a... This is actually a... I feel like we're in pretty good shape against a reanimation reanimation deck. We'll keep this because we can play remand and that should get us a white, right? Oh dear. Or we get a white here. Thank you. Baller Dunk, thank you for the resub, buddy. I've died to my own reanimate accidentally more than once. It's it's interesting because reanimate isn't a isn't a part of a cost. It doesn't say like as an additional cost, pay the life of the creature you target or something, right? You're, you you just get the you get the damage dealt to you. So you can still cast it if you don't have enough life. Um do I I think I just hmm, do I wait a turn or do I like Yeah, we're gonna play this now just feels better if they reanimate something they can't attack with it so we can just swords it fantastic that's a good dude that is a good 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 dude It's a lot of life they got. But have you considered... Uh, gotta put Mystic Confluence in the graveyard because I need mana. And by, Look at that. Fashionably late to the party. So they have another creature and another reanimate spell in hand. I don't know. But I don't think I hate Monolith into either Factor Fiction or... What's the best route to, to hit lands here? Monolith, Factor Fiction, maybe hit a land or just play Palantir. I'll just play Palantir. I just got to give them a turn. I can't assume that... They have a reanimate and an Ashen Rider in hand, right? <laughs> I'm going to go farm. It's true. Um, Put you on top. Put you on top of that. Because I'll... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Ah, Stink City. Now I'm going to draw the wrong one. I put him in the wrong order. Ah... Now I got to draw a stupid steel seraph. That's the worst. That's the worst. 
I think we can just keep it. We're going to draw from Palantir now. We have an active source of card drawing. We just have to do it correctly. Ugh, I could have had a, I could have had a stupid island right now. Okay. Um, you on the bottom, you on the top. Oh, they just took nine. Great. Yeah, I put that on the top because I knew they'd hit it with their life total. They're like, I have some life points to expend here. And they did. And that was, it was great. Everybody had a good time. Um, I don't actually have anything to factor fiction. I can't, or to mana to factor fiction here. <clears throat> and I don't want to play a containment priest because... I'd rather them waste the resources into containment priest than know about it. Um, put on the... Oh, we got it. Sweet. It's all coming up Millhouse now. Oh, a red. They're like, we needed this red mana. Uh, that's good for us. Finally get to use our remand. They have four cards. We know one is a Doretti. I really don't think we can take Containment Priest down here. But we can probably just play Grim Monolith. Yeah, that feels fine. Um, Put you on top and put you on top. Those are those are both fine. I don't think I have any issues with... We're going to draw one of the lands. Uh, Liliana, huh? Well, that sure is a thing, isn't it? I mean, I feel like I'm getting much, much more card equity here than they are. Good old Jedaruski. Okay, now that they're tapped out, though. <clears throat> oh, they didn't block. That's they, Why didn't they attack there? That's interesting. So I think we exile Liliana, or maybe we exile this guy, march to this guy, and then attack Liliana. Oh, we're missing a white source. I should have just... Oh, man. I'm... <laughs> I didn't want to take any more damage, so I didn't play the stupid mana confluence for obvious reasons. I didn't think I need three white this turn, but I guess here we are. What is it, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Let's attack Liliana. I doubt they're going to block. They blocked. All right. Well... Snuff it out. Okay. Um, treachery seems good. Bottom that guy, top of that guy. Hmm. Treachery seems great here. I think we actually factor fiction here. Terrible player, sacrifice a creature. I guess I'll sacrifice this one. I, mean, I actually don't have any creatures in their in their graveyard currently, so I don't think we're in 
Um, this feels like the best use I can think of for Factor Fiction. Next turn we get to Treachery this, untap, play Steel Seraph. <laughs> well, I guess our land issues are over. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Easy. Easy choice. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I can see just playing this as prototype. Now I get to keep up Mana Leak. Uh, give this guy an ability. Lifelink. Got it. Uh, bottom and top. The, the, the mitigation of lands, like just being able to put all these lands on the bottom of your library is just phenomenal. Each player discards. Mana Confluence. You can go. Oof. Oof, that's a big oof. Um, so I got to pay three more. What do I get? Sun Titan? That's not terrible. Um, we can also, we also get to bounce it, which is pretty good. Oh, we can also, we can also mana leak whatever they, they get. Um, oh, Wait, do we just get Containment Priest? That doesn't work though, right? Because they're going to be in play at the same time. Yeah, we'll say Sun Titan. And then our trigger will resolve. Their active player, theirs goes on first. So I can actually get um, Teferi here, which prevents them from casting any spells. So now they just have an Atali and we get to bounce it. They got Faithless Looting from them and Counterspell from us. <laughs> All right, that was pretty satisfying. <laughs> oh man, Tefri, Tefri from Sun Titan with Atali on the stack. That's pretty cool. That was an interaction I did not see coming. All right, round two. Fight. Uh, this is a three drop. Three, three, four. Five, six. I don't hate it on the draw. We don't have acceleration, so we'd have to draw like island blue card because most of our um welcome back from your mana leak. That's funny. Uh I'm gonna keep it. They went to six. If we can top deck a blue card, a blue an island into like a mana leak or a remand or a counter, I guess not counter spell. Suspicious stowaway. Our opponent is also 2-0, which bodes well for them and less good for us. I think our deck is fine, but I think it's pretty medium. Well, that is a two drop, so it gives us something to do. Kind of crossing our fingers that we hit another land before turn three. Oh yes, Ren and Six, a classic. Getting back your Prismatic Vista, I see why you're doing so well. Solid, oh, that was a good draw. Well, we're definitely just slamming that thing. I'd be like, Rex Age. Nothing. Something. Gotta be something. Nothing? 
That's fascinating. Island is fascinating. Just Palantir here. Could also flash in Commando. It gets one good attack in. Scale Lord doesn't do much. Neither does Sun Titan. We can play this guy for six as a five four. <coughs> Actually don't know how good that would be against them. They also could just have a counter spell, which makes it really sad. We'll run out of Palantir and see if it does anything. Yep. Perfect. Now we can play Sun Titan next turn, get that back. We'll see. Hey, look, I feel like I've seen that Prismatic Vista before. Oh, Jace the Mind Sculptor. I hear he's better than all. I also like that that Sun Titan Teferi line. That felt that felt good. Appreciate you saying so. Um, yeah, there was another card in there that I was also oh Containment Priest. I was thinking because I was like oh if they if they hit any creatures then they can't come into play. But then I was like wait Teferi is just better than that. Um, so I guess we just have to Sun Titan. Uh, oh boy. Uh, put on top and put you on top of that. They're gonna they're gonna mill one of them. Yep, <laughs> take five. But then we get to draw a treachery, which is not terrible. Hmm. Fascinating. Boy, I feel like they've they've really cast this prismatic they've really played this prismatic vista quite quite a bit. Oh, the old horn. All right. <clears throat> Treachery. Didn't see that one coming. Yeah, I think we're just going to go to the next game. Uh, they're going to have a Ren and Six emblem. We don't really have anything to do about it. Yeah, I think we just had a too slow of a start. That was fine. I I chose it. This gives me lots of things to do. I think Lauren might be good against them if they don't just start uh, running six shenanigans. Again, these uh, <clears throat> these hands would be a little better if we had uh, Tundras or Sea Chrome Coasts or Celestial Colonnades, but <clears throat> I just have to assume we can draw one island by a certain a certain point. No Planeswalkers, right? <clears throat> Artifact creatures or enchantments. Interesting. <clears throat> That's not it. That's not what we're looking for at all. Uh, 
Uh, Black March might. <laughs> Close. Not exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, good old good old Emery. Force three lands. Sounds good. It's too bad Emery herself is not a uh an artifact, you know? <coughs> Excuse me. This is a non-token, right? Yeah. All right. Well, I'll give you a 2-2 two -two <coughs> in exchange for an Emery. That seems better, right? Oh, and it gets two tokens because I'm exiling a new creature and I'm exiling it. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> mm, little Bomat Courier. That's fascinating. But this looks like a totally different deck. I was going to consider there. I must have forgotten. I must not have considered it. Um, yeah, we'll just blink our Lauren. There's no real downside to that done that's good that's probably going to give them the third color that they're looking for probably going to be a green source for their renin six so they can shoot lauren Okay. Is it better to toss Commando out here, I wonder? And then exile this with March, maybe? Okay. Seems fine. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Um, definitely put you on top. <coughs> so we can play Scale Lord. We can play Monolith into Scale Lord. Blink scale lord. Oh, we just won the game. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. All right. <clears throat> Again, mana base was 
a little shaky, but it's a two color deck. You know, what are you going to do? Cathar Commando can come out. I feel like Days might actually be decent. Being able to return an island just to get one of their Planeswalkers or something seems pretty decent. Oh, that's this is the hand. Snap keep this bad boy. The only bad thing about this hand is that we're on the draw. Yep, that's a that's a good one. March of Otherworldly Light. Dang it. We do have a treachery, so if they're going for creatures instead of planeswalkers, that's decent. <clears throat> Definitely pump that guy, for sure. Don't play deep water, though. Jitte. That is a thing. But we have another thing. We can counter whatever they try to do here and then lure in the Jitte, which seems pretty good. Unless they just equip Jitte and attack, which would be interesting, but... Doesn't really build your board very much. Oh, yes. Perfect. Hangerback Walker. I kind of think I want to counter that. Because if we remand it, it's just going to get better. Like, next turn, it's six. It's hard to deal with. Oh, wow. This is a great curve. Next turn we wandering and then we have treachery. That's pretty good. Look at me. I am the control deck now. So I got three mana. No longer. Five mana. For escape. Sure. Wow, two counter spells and three lands. That's actually fantastic. <clears throat> no longer having access to those is just phenomenal. Plus, you don't get any, like, big, beefy nonsense to, to mess with us with. That's great. Wow. Sure. All right, get in there. Now we get to play Wandering Emperor or Keep Up Remand, both of which are nice. Three mana, four mana, double blues, double blues. What do they do with Jace here? Because like we can actually just. Do they bounce our Lauren? I think that's fine because we can just make a wandering emperor token. <laughs> yeah, fourth pick's mo mox emerald is not <clears throat> not reasonable. 
Asika's chariot. This is actually great for us. Okay, we can remand this. Consider at the end of the turn, and then we can kill Jace. So they end up with, like, nothing. Uh, Caracas. I'm going to put that in the graveyard for now. We don't really need a Caracas. Oh, wow, that's really good. Oh, my goodness, that's good. It's non-land. Oh, that's a bummer. Because we can play Scale Lord, put the counter on here. I'm also tempted to just take Draga Tree Speaker, and then we just take all their things. Yeah, let's deny them a bunch of land. It's not exciting, but... <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that's hilarious. We should have just played Wandering Emperor, I guess. Yep, that's amazing. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Ah, wonderful. Yep, that was backbreaking. I mean, I didn't think I'd see days with mountain, mountain, forest, raging ravine. Like, <laughs> so weird, dude. Like, oh boy. They also have Jitte in here, Hangerback Walker. I don't know what's going on with this deck. Yeah, that was pretty backbreaking. I mean, the alternative was like playing Scale Lord, but even that doesn't like do a ton, so it didn't feel right. Mm hmm. Sure, two floating. Chariot that we knew about. Yeah, we're we're doing worse now. Soul harder to blink this this Lauren would be okay. Yeah, it's gonna take a bit to return treachery with Scale Lord. Smuggler's Copter too, huh? Especially because they can just bounce it with Jace. But they have one card in hand, actually, and this is not the worst. Palantir. So they bounce Scale Lord. I can't, they're they're going to bounce Scale Lord, and then they attack with both Chariot and Smuggler's Copter for seven. Make another token. Probably attack with this guy, too, for 10. And that's pretty bad. But maybe they don't. Maybe they just keep Jace around. Who knows? <clears throat> well, let's find out. Because if they keep this around, we can actually play Wandering Emperor, put a counter on it. They could also just have another answer in their hand. Oh, they're cycling. Okay. Um, and then we get back Treachery, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> and if we hit one more land, we can play Wandering Emperor and Palantir. Draw three. They did not bounce the scale lord. That is fascinating to me. So I assume they're just a teamer deck? Treachery is going to untap lands. Smart. Well, they're not... Okay. 
Sure, mountain on top, all right. Two cards in hand, skull clamp, all right. That doesn't kill any of your creatures either. So I have one card in hand. Fuck, this actually might be an opening for us. I'm very fascinated by this, this sequence here. Okay, they're gonna bring out the chariot. Oh, they're gonna equip with skull clamp, huh? Oh, they're they're oh they are okay. <laughs> I mean, we're just gonna take five. We're at twenty. I'm not gonna trade my guardian scale lord for this this stupid. <clears throat> Man, Soul Heart would be insane here. Kill this, kill this, kill this, kill this. And not the cats, but uh, this, this, this. So they have a mountain on top. So I actually don't really care if they draw that. I might just try to draw a card here. Maybe. No, I think we let them draw the mountain. Yeah, sure. Put it on that guy. Oh, <gasps> that's the one we wanted. Oh, wow. That's really good. Targeting treachery hit okay. Um, I think we just take Courser here. <clears throat> and then we can untap the lands. Uh, one, two. Actually, maybe we factor fiction here. No, because we're only untapping one. Right? We tap two. Yeah, we can just untap the five and... I'd rather have Palantir and Soul and Soul Herder than Factor Fiction here. One, two, three, four. Oh, wow, we're just killing Jace. This is pretty good for us. I thought they'd block with Copter for sure. What are you still doing, Awake? Awake, Awake. This guy. Land off the top. We know they're drawing a mountain too, which is actually really good to know. Um, yeah, I always yield to that. Palantir. Blank Lauren. Um, put this on top, put this on the bottom if they want to. Oh, okay. Now we just get to draw Mystic Confluence. Hooray! <laughs> Okie dokie. Yep. Um, what are we getting rid of? It's either the Chariot or the Copter. I think the Copter is probably better to get rid of. It doesn't... I don't want them to have more cards, and I don't really care about the, the Chariot here. I feel like if we can draw Mr. Confluence, we probably just can't lose. Also, being able to blink this every turn and we can get this guy back next turn with Guardian and... <clears throat> Lots of things are happening here. And we knew they draw Mountain, so they, their hand is just Mountain and whatever, whatever card they had before. Sounds good. 
going to equip bird burgy cheese burgy sounds good and raging ravine you got it this is an aggressive aggressive series of things that you're doing here So this is four, eight, twelve. Oh, we could also just we could also just trade with it with with like Burgie to draw to draw some more, or like just uh, throw this guy in front of the bus. Uh, actually, we can trade Corsair and Lauren to kill something here. Yeah, I can just take eight here because I don't think it's a big deal. And they get to kill one. Whichever one they kill, I'm going to bring back with Scale Dragon Lord Man. Uh, yep, now I get to bring back Treachery. Yeah, this this feels really good. So we're going to draw Mystic Confluence. And I think we just maybe we just bounce three creatures. Because then they kind of have nothing. One, two, three, four, five. This is what it feels like to crush your opponent. I right, still have Factor Fiction, so that's cool. That's blank. Ew. Uh, bottom, bottom. Oh, cool, they just took <laughs> six damage. <laughs> yep. Yep. And kill the chariot for now. Feels like we're in good shape. I didn't kill Skull Clamp because this guy's a 1 2. So. Oh, I should have killed Skull Clamp. So we know they have Mountain in hand. Field of the Dead, sure. So they have Mountain and one other card. And we win the game. Okay. Wow. 2-0 with this deck. I would not have expected. But here we are. Yeah, I, I did not mind that they played a breeding pool. But, I mean, it makes sense. Like, I will play first. I mean, you want to get the breeding pool down on a turn where, like, you're not going to have to take damage. Like, it just gives you more mana next turn without having to take damage. Oh, they mulled a five. Well, that's a thing, I guess. We get to go turn two Grimothy. Not bad on a multi five. Okay, we're really hoping for a blue source so we can bounce whatever they play and then we can play Sun Titan to get it back. We don't have Sun Titan. I thought we did. This is all very fascinating what's happening here. This is a good multi five. We did get the blue. Hmm. 
play a little Tarifi. <sighs> this card's actually going to be very problematic, I think. Oof. Oof. Well, we do get to consider next turn, but then we only have white mana. Teferi, no! So they are going to get protection from instants? I actually have no idea. I guess we can, um... Yeah, we have, like, a turn to draw, like, Skyclave Apparition before we just lose to Hexdrinker, which is kind of insane. Ugh. Oh! No! Ugh, oh, bottom. Oh God. It's all happening. Mana value three or greater. Oh my god. So next they just go one, two, three, four, five. Ugh. Ugh. Source the plowshares, man. Where's the justice? Yeah, I think we're just dead to that guy. I don't think there's anything that we have that would actually deal with a hex drinker that has protection from everything. We don't have wrath. This is hilarious. They mull to five and they get hex drinker. We don't have an answer for it. Our hand is two counter spells, swords to plowshares, and we just never get anything on time. Oh well. Sun Titan is a is a gentleman. Hmm. Guardian Scale Lord, huh? Can I gain any life? So we got a six. Going to the face, huh? We got to gain some life before the next turn, right? Just an Arbor Elf, huh? Oof. Interesting. <laughs> that does not do it. All right. Well, we get one draw here. Yeah. All right. Well, we tried. Hmm, boy. Fucking Hex Drinker is a hell of a card, man. Yeah, I think we're actually fine. I just think they got it. Uh, snap keep this. This hand's pretty great, actually. Turn to Grim or Stowaway. I think it has to be Stowaway here. We don't have anything to take advantage of Sun Titan. And we also don't have a second white, so I'd rather start looting some of these islands away for... Endurance. Just a main phase Endurance. That's fascinating. Oh, just so it doesn't flip, I guess. That makes sense.
questing beast. No questing beast. Just a little, little three damage, huh? God, another chariot? Um, I'll keep that. Let's give you lifelink. Get in there for a point. Also, Steel Seraph might have been good. We can give Sun Titan lifelink each turn, and that's actually pretty reasonable. Oh yeah, that's that's hot. We can also blank a, uh, bounce a Seeker's Chariot if they try to crew it. Green Sun for three. Rex Age, I bet. Yep. Never fails. <laughs> Always a pleasure, rec Recreational Sage. Yep. What do we take? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a lot. I think we're just going to pass here. This is eight, go to four. That's fine. Cast, counter bounce, bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. It's a shame you didn't do that first, but what are you gonna do? All right, this feels a little bit better. Rock, 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 rock and roll high school. We know they have a Seeker's Chariot. That's about it though, right? Oh, Psytic Slime, Deranged Hermit. That's a good one. That's enough to kill us. Soul Herder, blink something. I guess we're going to attack first. Don't be a land. Palace Jailer. Interesting. Um, one, two, th one, two, three, four. When we go to three, is that any different than going to four? If we hit Mystic, they can't pay Echo, which is just better than them. Uh, but then we also want to play Soul Herder too. I think going to three is fine, and we hit these two. And then we have three blockers. Oh, 
said, okay. One, two, three, Soulie Boy. Oh, we should have played Soul Herder first because this would have, I, I would have got another counter. That was pretty stupid. Blink you. Draw from being the monarch. Uh, yep. Get rid of this guy. All right. Well, they get to be the monarch, but they lose most of their squirrels. This is close, man. So now they get to play. Um, oh, they get their guy. They get their. Yeah, we. Sh I feel like we shouldn't have attacked. Actually, we wouldn't have drawn what we did if we didn't attack. So. But they become the monarch, so they do get their guy back, which is pretty rough. But eh, it doesn't really do much. It does hit our graveyard, which prevents us from getting a land back, but that's not the worst. They do get to play Chariot again. Mm -hmm. Let's draw a Lauren. That'd be cool. Wandering Emperor. What do you do? That's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> We're one shy here. Um, interesting. We could blink Sun Titan to get a land back. Then we can play Cathar, kill this, play Wandering, make a blocker. And then we have one, two, three, four, five blockers. We also use Caracas to get rid of this if they choose to crew. So we actually only need... These are both flashies, so I'm not super concerned with that, actually. I think we're just blinking Palace Jailer again. <laughs> yes. I guess we're getting rid of Endurance. It's like the biggest guy. I guess if we get rid of tokens, then they, they just don't come back. Yeah, we could exile on Sacker. That's correct. I just don't want it to be a... Uh... Oh, that's really good. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, I think that stabilizes us quite a bit. I guess it depends on... Eternal Witness getting back what? Rex Age? That's pretty good. What is that? that doesn't hit anything, though. Sure. Probably Deranged Hermit. Yeah, that's pretty obnoxious. I don't think we're going to have an answer for a second Deranged Hermit. Sylvan Library. Sure. They didn't attack us. That's fascinating. What do I make of that?
All right, Lauren, Lauren, Lauren Michaels. Let's get rid of your Sylvan library. Gains first strike, huh? I wonder if I also get in there with this guy. I don't think so. I want the card I have. Let's get back a... A, a well-needed planes. Yep, sounds good. Yep, you got it. And this guy's what, a 6-6? Six, six? Sure. They're at eight. We just have to survive a turn, right? And then I think we're doing okay. Get another one of these guys. Exile. Palace Jailer, probably. Let's get rid of their cat, I guess. Sure. Because it'll never come back. Trigger. 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 Draw a card. Having March in hand is pretty nice. I mean, they're going to play Hermit here, I'm sure. They don't got haste, though. Soaring. Okay. This is intense. This is an intense game. Augur. So not Hermit. It's four mana. Oh, you had one floating? Fascinating. Okay. Well, they're going quite wide here. Do I want to kill anything? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything we want to do, really. Untap our Grimothy. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had a card in the graveyard. Oh, we can actually get Cathar Commando back, can't we? That'll do. Two of these guys have Vigilance. Sun Titan doing the Lord's work here. So we can get rid of something with Palace Jailer, probably Hermit. And they have four, five, six, seven guys. We have four. We can get rid of one with March. And we're just hoping we draw something. <laughs> oh boy. I think this might be the end if we don't actually draw something here.
Oh, interesting. I mean, this guy's lethal, so you gotta... Actually, you have to block Soul Herder, so that's lethal. Oh, we can also bounce our... I guess we can't bounce and replay Lauren because this, it's already untapped, so it doesn't really benefit us. Okay. Yep. That's the blocks. Sure. That's good for us. Oh! Oh, boy. That's a beaut. What do we take here? Augur? And then Exile Hermit? Oh, we just win the game. Fantastic. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. Oh, beautiful. That was satisfying. Uh, let's bring in a Leshnorn, because this is a matchup that we will definitely be able to cast a Leshnorn. Everything else seems good. I'll just play like this. Wow, one game away from 3-0-ing, huh? This was not a deck I thought we were going to 3-0 with, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, two life with a mana confluence in play. And they got a bunch of different little shitters, so. They went to six. On the play. No one drop. Question is, do we keep up Counterspell, or do we just play Stowaway to try to start smoothing things out? Oh, that's a good one. Being on the play is pretty good, I hear. Yeah, now we're definitely keeping up Stowaway. <laughs> or, uh, Counterspell, rather. Beautiful. Fuck off. Fingers crossed they just don't have another big fat idiot. That's all we want. Don't have two fat idiots. Four mana card is fine. Don't like it. Green sun for three. You got it. Tireless tracker. Great. Significantly more okay than a uh, Elder Gargaroth there. Nice. Eh, I think we're just getting rid of Cathar Commando. Because we can just get it back next turn with Scale Lord putting the counter on here. Oh, we could also just Treachery, then play Scale Lord. Oh, that seems really good. Fuck. All right, let's see if that'll work. I mean, they have a lot of mana right now. They have 10 mana. <laughs> that's that's pretty good. Oh, but they're attacking us. What's Factor Fiction, EOT? Yep, that's a good one. Wow, they're really, they're really playing a lot of things here, huh? Fascinating. I don't think this top half is going to do it anymore. Oh, interesting. Yeah, these, I think Teferi and Skykiller Apparition are probably the two better options um take option two
Boy, that's fascinating, isn't it? Yep, free Cathar Commando. Mystic Confluence, eh? Let's get rid of Manalik. <laughs> Easy pitch. All right, well, they got to do five for that guy. That's fine. Wait, did they crack a clue? That's interesting. Are they deciding whether to... Spend the mana on this guy? Okay. Them spending the mana seems good because all our creatures can block profitably. So I'm not super concerned with them having two mana. And if we get to untap, we just get to do a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, this is a very easy uh, chump here. <laughs> block. Two of these guys take four. We have super easy blocks there. Yeah. Um, well, we can go Skyclave Soul Herder. Skyclave this guy, which seems really good. Soul Herder blink anything else. This is a three, so we can get Teferi back now. Oh no, we can get it with this guy rather, but we're still gonna attack with both. One draws us a card, the other gets us Teferi back. Uh, yeah, we'll do a Teferi. We can bounce a Squirrel token. Draw our card. Oh, Swords of Plowshares. Well, shoot. We can also keep Sword and Mystic Confluence up. Uh, bounce a squirrel. Soul Herder. Skyclave Apparition. Exile this guy. It's under its owner's control. Okay, so I don't want to blink Thrag Tusk. Probably just blink Scale Lord here. Making sure we didn't miss a land drop. Um, probably just put on apparition. It gives us another three three power blocker. That's fine. That's fine. We're giving them one turn with a Rafellos, and then we're probably going to bounce it so they don't draw like an Ulamog or something ridiculous. But I, I feel like this is definitely where we would have. Yeah, I think I think giving them extra turn with Rafellos was probably a little sketchy, but. I don't really think that we're in, I think we're in pretty good shape here. So we're going to go. Garrick is at two. Let's attack Garrick, attack your face. Get Cathar Commando back. Uh, we got a Palace Jailer too. Oh, geez. I don't actually see how they can come back from this. Let's get rid of Island. Sure. 
sure. Get rid of this guy. I'm the monarch. That guy gets bumped. Get rid of this thing. Really going to just cut your man off a little bit. Blink. Palace Jailer. And get rid of this guy. And we still have Swords and Consider in hand. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'm just assuming everything is going according to plan. And that's a 3-0 with our kind of clunky blue-white control deck. That was pretty sweet, man. That was pretty sweet. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to follow on Twitch, follow on YouTube, subscribe on Twitch or YouTube. Both of those are great ways to support the channel. And uh, I'm here five days a week, so I'll see you sometime. Really appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time.